Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you two really fun games, uh, math games for students of um, probably later middle or later um, elementary school, um, it's up through high school really. These are just games. If you have one iPad in your classroom, it's something for a student to do after a test, or if you want to hook it up to your smart board, it might just be a fun review activity. So the first one I'm going to show you is called Prime Smash, and both of these are free but they are both for the iPad. Okay, so Prime Smash, I'm um, just going to do a new game, um, and it makes you basically just tell which number is prime and which ones aren't. So I'm going to do easy so I don't embarrass myself too badly. I'm just going to throw up a number. I have to decide if it's prime. If it is, I just tap it. If it's not, I do a little swipe. It will come out with the two numbers that make it up, and I decide whether or not those are prime. Okay, so I'll get the next one wrong, just so you can see. So negative 16 points. Um, okay, so that kind of gives you an idea what to do there. So I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me play this game, uh, but you get the idea. And there's uh, three different levels. It gets really hard, and it goes really fast at some points. So uh, the nice thing is, is that we'll give you the score. You can see the score up in the right-hand corner. And what you can do after a student's done is have them take a screenshot, and maybe you can give them some extra points or give them um, something, some kind of reward if they do really well um, with their prime numbers. Okay, and the next game is called Slice It. Now, there is a paid version of Slice It. Uh, I only have the free version, which I like. Okay, so play it free. And what it does is really good for uh, students who need some work, maybe with spatial um, logic and reasoning. So, you can watch how... I'm not good at this, but both of these games I think are pretty addicting. They're pretty fun, um, and they're really good for them. So play, and all right, so I'm just going to do the basic one just so you can see. It's going to make me uh, slice this in two, where you see where it says goal up in the top. That's how many uh, slices I need to, to make this. So it tells me kind of in the beginning, little tutorial, like start outside the box, go in, slice, gives me a number of stars and as you can see I'm still not 50-50 but close I'm going to actually go to the menu here and show you uh, and it gets a little bit more complicated as you go on like this one at first was like, oh, well, I'll just do in the, the Mercedes symbol. Um, but you ha can't actually split it up that way. You have to do it still. Um, it has to go all the way through the circle each line. So in this one, I need to do three pieces. That's why I mean I was going to do the Mercedes symbol, but nope. So um, do that and that and see how we do. I only got four stars, so kind of gives you an idea of uh, spatial reasoning. Wow, that one slice is really small. <laughs> um, what they have to do. So that's uh, another fun game for our first students to play. So if you have any more fun math games, there are plenty, uh, especially for lower, um, for elementary education. So if you have anything that you would like to share, please uh, let me know, and I will add it to my list. Thanks, guys.